Hello guys, welcome back. So today we're actually going to be using IB questions for lunch. So this is definitely not a, a question bank that I totally didn't pirate. Um, but so yeah, let's just get into it. So pause the question if you want to try the uh, pause the pause the video if you want to try the question yourself and come back for the solution. All right. So I assume you've uh, done the question yourself now. So. The first bit of the question is to explain what hybridization is, and I'm not going to write this out because uh, MS Paint would gang, um, but I will go over it quickly. So the term hybridization refers to sort of, you know, the term hybridization refers to the com combining of atomic orbitals to make um, the combining of uh, atomic orbitals from individual atoms to make larger uh, orbitals, to make larger molecular orbitals. And if I look at the mark scheme here, yeah, that would be that would be the uh, correct definition there, according to the mark scheme. So now we can uh, now we can do the second part, which is says state the type of hybridization shown in carbon atoms and carbon dioxide, graphite. So CO two graph. Uh, diamond and the carbonate ion. For so the first thing I like to do is draw Lewis structures just so I can get an idea. These two you're expected to know from memory what sort of structure they have. So um, let's do CO two first. O Double bonded O. Let's do the Lewis structures first. So that's carbon carbon dioxide. For graphite, it would look something sort of like this. C C C C double bonded C, and then that bonds to another C, which double bonds to a C, which single bonds to a C. And so on and so forth. Here, let me just fi finish another ring here. C double bond. No, whoops. Single, double, single. Okay, whoops, I made a mistake. So. So single, double, single, double single and then you would sort of repeat the structure so on and so forth for diamond it's like C C I'm trying to draw this in a way that is clearly representative of molecular geometry oh what the fuck okay let's just draw it as intended C C C C, and then so on and so forth. And then lastly, for carbonate, we would draw a Lewis structure that looks, well, technically this has resonance, but one Lewis structure will work for the, uh, one Lewis structure will work for our purposes today. I'm not going through the whole formal process of drawing the Lewis structure, I'm just sort of doing it quickly since I happen to know what these look like. All right, so, Firstly, let's count the number of electrons that they need. So this is two. Uh, if we just pick one carbon here, there's one, two, three, three electron domains, one, two, three, four electron domains, and one, two, three electron domains. And then um, you could, um, well, uh, to determine hybridization, you just count the number of electron domains, and then you subtract one, and then you get the type of p. You get like so two minus one is one, and that's just sp one hybridized. Three minus one is two, and that's sp two, and so on and so forth. That's the quick way of doing it, and to be honest, that's the way you should do it. The longer, more you know, tedious way is to literally draw these out. And I suppose, where is my mouse here? I'll draw it out for carbon dioxide since it's quite uh, easy to do. So we have C um, 
and then here we have oxygen atom that is so here we have Um, you can see why you shouldn't do this. But this will count as its double bond. And then let me try and use a different pen here. So here you can see that this is 1s, so there's, there's also, keep in mind there's just also the s orbital itself, which is like that, that, and like that. And you can see here that 1p orbital, so the pz orbital, keep it, although these does look like two orbitals, there's only one orbital, plus this s orbital overlap with these, with those sigma bonds overlapping. There's only one p orbital that's taking part in the pi bonding, and then there's um, the s orbital that's taking part in the sigma bond. So here you can sort of see that's sp uh, more conceptually, but it's easier just to do it the other way I told you. And then here we have sp2, sp3, and then sp2. And then if I look at the mark scheme, Carbon dioxide is sp, diamond is sp3, uh, graphite is sp2, and carbo carbonate ion is sp2. So we are correct. Beautiful. Um, and that should do it. Thank you very much for watching.